I spent one week on the most competitive Rust server, filled with clans and zergs. I stole so much from them and I guess it didn't took long until they realized who actually was the grub in their area. With that being said, let's start from the beginning. Okay, let's go! Fresh wipe. Okay, okay, guys, that's a fresh wipe. Alright, yeah, I would love to build. Oh my god, guys, look at this. Yeah, that's like insane. Miltons and stone quarry. You all know your feedback is super important to me, so I have a question for you guys. Tell me in the comments what you prefer. Long form videos, 1 hour plus, or 2 parts, 20 plus minutes each. I'm waiting for your response. And by the way, if you are having a great time, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up. Your support truly means the world to me. Oh no, dude, no. That's a small team. <laughs> As the realization turned upon me, the impending wipe day will be tough, because I built my base next to a tier 3 monument, and groups love to build next to high contested monuments. And since I was living in a sack, I felt really vulnerable. I'm probably dead. Look at these kids, man. Uh, yeah, it's impossible to play in this uh, area. Thanks to Rust Magic for sponsoring today's video. This is for my 18 plus viewers. Rust Magic is a brand new site with up to 6 different games, including Case Battles, Upgrader with 2 spinners, Roulette, Minesweeper, and a super unique game called Flipper, where you can change the amount of coins to flip for different win prizes. And when you win, you can deposit with skins, PayPal, or crypto. When you're done, they have a huge selection of skins to withdraw from. They also have a rent system that gives out free coins. And of course they have daily cases. For each week during February they're giving away $10,000 to the top players at Rust Magic. You can use my code truthfully for a free 50 cents to try out the site. Thank you Rust Magic for sponsoring today's video.
and as I was outside my sack they saw me holding 300 plus low grade along with some crude oil and by the time I spawned in my base I fucking knew it. Nice, my base got raided. I couldn't get any farm done because there was always one guy in every corner. Now I had no option but to farm. Um, it's the farm bot again. I think I didn't check the name this time. I finished up the trees and started building my starter base before they found me. Hopefully this is not the case now. After that I came back to this base, but after grabbing their furnaces, they spotted me. Pretty unfortunate, but I will come back later, and let's say I will get a lot more. I heard a raid nearby, let's see if they are out or maybe if they're doing the raid themselves. Okay, yeah, okay, don't, <laughs> please don't spam in the comments, guys, I'm begging you, don't spam in the comments, I heard them coming and I knew that I didn't have, like, enough time, we all know this feeling, okay, when you are, like, shaking, so, I decided to not go in, and 
like actually loot more because I don't know like level 2 workbench we, we just skip 500 scrap like oh, whoa dude Considering it was only 5 to 6 hours after a while, I was living in a 2x1. So I decided to expand my base to estates that I'm happy with. The next day I woke up to a surprise, the clan that I infiltrated yesterday left the server. That was great because I can wait for the base to decay and get a ton of loot. But before I even started thinking about their loot, I heard four satchels from the direction of my base. It's okay, fuck this guy. I'm raided. this so yeah because i'm dumb and i thought the guy in the door was a random guy trolling i ended up losing my base even though i would be raided anyways if i had closed the guards door or not and obviously putting a freaking lock in my door <clears throat> Because trust me, they don't care if you have 20 doors or 2 doors. As long as you are a solo, they will raid your base no matter what in the server. It was from the group that lives 2 grids away from me, located in the ice lake. So I knew I stand no chance. Now let's move on. Because these guys were deep, they had turned off their turrets because some of their teammates hadn't authorized the turrets yet. So I jumped in their compound and managed to steal 4k gunpowder from them. And this gunpowder will come handy later. The base that I was talking about decayed a bit more, so I grabbed some loot that at the moment was actually super helpful. We hit the jackpot, let's go! Okay, so now we know that this base is decaying actually, so that's insane. After that I went to military tunnels in hopes of getting some high tier loot or maybe even some high qual, because I want to start working on my main base soon. No, I like that. I spotted this solo base being built within one hour, and I also encountered this guy and he had guns. So with a gunpowder that I stole before, I think it was a good target to say the least. I want to do one more military tunnel run before going to inspect the solo base.
guys, I have to check if this guy's online or not. He changed his name, but he's not active. Um, I'm here. Let's hope the best. I think if if this guy doesn't have any garage doors, I think I have enough. Yeah, I don't know, man. Let's do it. Came back with eight more satchels, but unfortunately the last door was a garage door. But it was actually a good thing because when I spawned outside, I saw some geared guys coming the base. Thankfully, they didn't finish the raid by themselves, so I brought five more satchels to finish the damaged garage door. Holy cow. Yep, as I said, it was a decayed base, man. No metal fragments, though. Oh my god, dude. The next day I woke up to a raided base again. But I don't care since I didn't transfer any of the loot that I had in the other base. Because I knew something like that would happen. And in my opinion, because I might do something really impressive later, it was actually a good thing that I got raided today. What? Someone actually read the base? What? Yeah, someone tried to read the base. Holy fuck.
Okay guys, this base is so sus that I wanna raid it. Yesterday he had like stone wall, now he has wooden wall. Oh bro, he got raided. R no man. R no. I'm gonna raid him just in case. Oh my god, this fucking game guys. Space was actually very good, man. <laughs> so strange. Okay, we pretty much got everything back. I mean, I, I take it. That's the DC. Okay. The Asla group blew the turrets of this base 20 minutes ago, but the base owners defended their base and killed them. This base is from the guys that raided my sack day one. I guess I'm gonna take a revenge from them very, very soon. Wait. Oh my god, I'm taking the mini. I'm going in the roof. Guys, that was a mistake. I didn't wanna do that, but I guess it is what it is. We still. Got this, I'm guessing. What the axe up? Huh? I'm so dumb that I blew the mini man. But I guess I have a parachute, so. But wait. Zaki. Oh shit, these guys are online. What the fuck? I just did. <laughs> wait a sec, wait a sec, wait a sec. Bruh. Oh, 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 okay, change name. Restart the game. 
never come back. If I lose this loot, I think I'm gonna cry. I'm, I'm not even joking. I think I'm gonna cry, actually. I went to a clan's base that recently got raided but defended. And I somehow ghosted them and they thought I was their teammate for some reason. So I stole the sulfur before they realized. I had no clue. Huh? After that unexpected interaction with the clan, I started focusing on my main base. I went back to the clan that recently defended their base and I couldn't believe in my eyes. Guys, we are actually rich, man. What the fuck? This clan left the server probably, so I was the first that found this treasure. I managed to transfer everything back to my base. Keep in mind the server has over 300 pop at the moment. I'm the only one who knows. What? I don't remember how to fucking leave this. Uh, I don't know what the fuck am I even saying? Yeah. Oh my god, I own like 20 bases at this point. Um, I don't know what to do. No, I'm actually lost. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have no clue what to do at this point. First things first, I have unlimited, like, high qual cloth. Not actually high qual, I mean, yeah, kinda. But the thing is that, I mean, 
I don't even have a complete base yet. So if I get raided, I'm kinda chilling, you know. Okay, we made it back. Somehow. Okay, I kinda made the layout of the base. If you want a step by step guide on building this base, check the description, it's my original design so feel free to share your thoughts.
Spira. Why this guy had so much? The next hour or so I worked on my base just to make sure my loot is safe. Okay guys, we made a lot of um, base upgrades, which is amazing, actually no, by the way you can open this door, that was all my design, you can open this door and, you know, up this peak here, okay, um, so don't ask in the comments the base design, because that's my base design, <laughs> so, yeah. I also added some turrets in the compound and the roof as well. A group close to my base was raiding a gigantic base, so I went there to investigate and see what I can steal. Holy shit, what the fuck? Okay, I'm crafting um, an armor door. Let's do that. Oh my god, I should take heli. Actually, try at least. Holy fuck, man.
this game. I don't think that was my fault, I had no clue where I was getting silence from. With camo skins and suppression in this game, it's near impossible to spot an enemy. But I didn't care because by the looks of it, the heli loot was trash. Hopefully the last crate as well. I wanna cry, like I died because this game is so... Like, so unbalanced. Okay, best looking, pretty good I would say. I still needed some cameras because I want to make more tarts so I went to a nearby 2x1 next to dome to raid it. Oh my god, this guy had exactly what I needed. What? Oh fuck, I'm inside the bed. I'm so dumb, dude. I'm so dumb. I don't think anyone ugh, is around, but I can't tell. I mean, I needed like two or three cameras and now I actually have them. Actually, pretty good. After a couple of hours, the same clan that raided this massive base paid me a visit. I took a break for 3 hours and when I came back I saw this, but as strange as it may seem, they never used this raid base to actually raid me. They just built it for no reason, let's say. So I left the server again and came back after a couple of hours, and I saw a raid base outside my base from a 10 plus deep Chinese clan. I suck balls! I don't know what the... I don't think they're gonna <laughs> raid, man. Please raid, actually, because I, I, I would love to. It raided. Yeah, okay, kill me. I want that. I want that. I want that. I want that. Where's the roof, kids? There you go. Oh, that's fucking insane! Let's go! I'm so trusted at this game for some reason. <laughs> the freak I'm dealing with. Oh, 
Bruh, this guy destroyed me. I just need to not die. Bruh, the this scenes. Okay, I'm blank so bad. What the fuck is going on with this game? Oh my god, I'm playing so bad. I need meds. Wait, I think they're gonna go top down. Fuck, man. No, 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 no. Never mind. Fuck. This game is so bad, it's so bad, I'm lagging so bad, uh, I just have to like 10 FPS, I don't know. What? Tarret killed me, dude. I don't fucking know what to say at this point. Bro, I don't know what the fuck is this game. Yeah, oh. Wait, they broke all my turrets on the roof? Yeah, I don't know.
there are no. My FPS are so cancer. I got sealed base, dude. I don't know. Are they like... Somehow I managed to seal my base, but of course they got the majority of the stuff. It was a fun experience and I know that I made a lot of mistakes, beside the freezes. But we live and we learn. I used a lot of rockets for my base and it wasn't even full upgraded because I was lacking on HQM. Thanks to the Raiders for their online raid. Yoink! <laughs>